What's going on guys? Ben from JK Gear and Gadgets. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. I've got a lot of cool videos coming up and a lot of cool videos in the past, so check them out. But this video is going to be a JL upgrade that we're going to put on the JK. So, if you've been watching my channel, you've probably seen my JL hood latch video. If you haven't, go check it out. Pretty cool upgrade. But other people asking me, Ben, or not Ben, but they were just like, oh, I wonder what other JL parts will fit on the JK. So, I got to look in and I saw the new JL hood bumps and they actually look pretty cool in my opinion. So I'm like, let's throw it on a JK. So stay tuned, let's see what we have to do and how it looks on a JK. Alright, so everybody's seen these hood bumps before. Here's the stock JK ones, little cone shaped rubber, uh, little bumps on your hood. Uh, so these go back to the days when you could fold down your windshield and your windshield would rest on here. But the JK really doesn't allow you to fold down your windshield easily. Not a lot of people do it. You can do it, but you have to take the bolts off. It's never really going to seal up right, blah, blah, blah. But with the introduction of the JL, it's a lot easier to fold down your windshield on the new JL. So they came out with a new hood bump. Pictured here. Looks completely different, and it's a lot more functional. Um, has more bolts than the JK. This one actually just pops right in. Um, you can pull it out just like that. As you can tell, it just has that little grommet and it sits down in the hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and say it because I know a lot of people will. This is not a performance upgrade. You don't get anything out of it. Um, it's mostly just for looks, aesthetics, and modification, you know. That's what we do this for, make our Jeep our own. I think they look cool and hopefully some other people do too, but we'll see. Um, here it is, plain and simple, a lot longer, a lot bigger, but I think it'll give a cool sleek look to the hood. And like I said, I haven't seen anybody do this before, so let's do it. Um, I got these on Mopar Online Parts. They were around $36 for both. I'll throw the link in the description. Um, I know last time for the hood latches, I was able to get everybody a discount code for free shipping, but sadly for these, can't do it. Uh, that code only works for $50 or more. Since these are 36, you're gonna have to pay uh, pay shipping. Unless you order both these at the same time, you'll be able to get that free shipping code. I'll throw the code in there in case your order is over 50. Um, but let's. Uh, I mean, this isn't gonna be a super uh, you know, detailed install. But let me show you what we have to do to modify the actual bump, the hood bump. Um, there's no drilling required on the hood. No modifications to the Jeep. Only the hood bumps. All right, here it is ready to bolt right onto a JL but to put it on a JK we're gonna have to do a few mods we're gonna take this little rubber uh, gasket off we're gonna keep that and we are gonna take off all these except for this one this is the one we're gonna leave um, so a few ways to do that you can either just get a uh, angle grinder and grind all these these three nubs off or uh, break it off with you know, just grab a wrench, break them off, um, or go to a bench grinder and just grind them down flush. Okay, so we're at Lowe's and figured out what nut we're going to need. It is M4 by 0.7 and came over here, got some nuts comes in a five pack we're only gonna need two then also got some fender washers gonna get a uh, two packs so I'm not sure which size is gonna work work best um, but you know it's an eighth by three quarters and three sixteenths by one the eighth by three quarters fits on there better but these actually have a bigger outside diameter just because I'm not sure what size the hole in the hood is I should have took a measurement but I didn't but we're gonna go check out it's gonna be like under five bucks for all the hardware. And uh, go finish smoothing this one down, throw it on the Jeep. All right, so the first step is to simply remove these, uh, the factory bumps. All you do is kind of just twist and pull and they just, they pop right out. All right, so with the hood open and we can see where the hole is, we're simply gonna grab our new uh, hood bump, the washer and nut and put it on.
All right, so before we actually tighten this down all the way, we're going to close the hood and make sure it's lined up the way we want it to. Uh, adjust it a little bit as necessary, and then tighten her home. All right, guys, so I got one side done. And as you can tell, I mean, I think it looks pretty cool. It's definitely unique. Uh, sorry for my camera if it's, it's doing all types of crazy focusing stuff right now. All right, so as you can tell, they're both installed. Like I said earlier, it's just for looks. You're not getting out anything out of it. Uh, you know, just like the other, uh, there's other people on the market that make replacements for the factory ones. Uh, there's like the deletes that look like the little UFO ships. Um, I'm just not a big fan of those. I think these turned out pretty nice. One little tip I will say is if when you are tightening them down, if the back seems to be up a little bit, just make sure the actual stud Loosen it up a little bit and make sure it's centered inside the hole through your hood. Um, and then it'll mount nice and flush. But I definitely think they look pretty cool. Hopefully I can get a, you know, a few good shots with the GoPro here. Um, I'm happy with it. Like I said, they're like 36 bucks. I'll throw the link in the description. All right, so overall, super happy with this mod. I think it turned out pretty good. I like the way they look, they're unique. And, you know, upgrade everything. Stock sucks. Blah. Um, but, yeah, stay tuned, guys. Got a few few videos dropping real soon. And one of them is going to be a really big upgrade. Uh, it's going to be an awesome video. I'm looking forward to it. I've been looking forward to it for a while now. Um, but, yeah, stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't. Give the video a thumbs up. Hit the notifications button, the little bell beside the subscribe button. So you get notifications when I post a video. Uh, trying to do some more giveaways soon. And once again, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, really appreciate you guys. So I'm going to get going. It's getting really hot out here. I'm going to try to do a tire review video soon. Woo! Finally put 20,000 miles on them. Uh, I've been promising a review video for a while now. They've been amazing. But I'm going to do an official tire review video, 20,000 miles, and just look at that tread. But uh, next video. That's coming up next. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to stop talking because I could keep talking forever and ever. But dang, check out them bumps.